Hey guys, like Blue 25. And our 2234. Episode 89 major review. Today we got the Power Ranger Samurai, the Bozo, aka the Mogu Dayo from Samurai Sentai Shinkinger. So now we have the Bozo, aka the Mogu Dayo. It does have wheels on all sides, the two wheels here and two wheels over here and here. So they do roll, which is really moving nice. back and forth. It rolls pretty nicely. Alright, so you also included two this that you can take out. One here and one here. They count as the wheels, but you don't really technically need it because I've tried it without the wheels and they're used for the spin sword. Yeah, you can use it for the spin sword, you can use it for whatever, even the black box. The gun, you can actually have it two ways. You can have actually have it this way, or as I like to do, try it, I've actually tried it and have it like that. Now to me that looks better because then you don't have such a wide gap here. Overall, it's pretty nice. The funny thing is, is that the these things do come off, so when they do take off, they're like this. Pretty nicely detailed. They are kept from the original Japanese one. All right, so now we have the Mogu Dayo. Now this thing, it's huge. Like this is like Titanus slash Delta Command size. Um, the feature for this thing is is that you can it has a motor in it. So when it when you turn it on, it run it can walk using the legs. Or just like the other Zords that were motorized, you can actually have a free mode and the motorized mode. mode. Yeah, this is the free mode in which you can just. Around with it and whatnot, and you can see the legs also move at the same time as well. So simply switch the back and switch forward, and you can move on its own, or you can do reverse. While I was at it, the head over here spins because of the spin stuff. Oh, because when you put the disc in, it spins. Now, just like the, the hidden disc, this time they come off, but they have what have wheels on the side right here compared to what we have. This is actually bigger, of course, but you can either take it off or put it on, but it looks better when it's on anyway. All right, so now we have the Samurai Megazord riding on the Bozord. Now in this mode, the Samurai Megazord goes on top of the Bozord and rides it. It's, you know, it's just putting it on and just riding it. You can still roll with it, it's not gonna fall. Now this is the only mode that the extra Samurai Megazord can work with the Japanese version of the toy. It does fit on top because it has just enough room to fit actually the American version. Overall, this is actually a cool mode to have a display on because you can actually have it with a sword and when that is riding it, so it's pretty good. Alright, so now we have the Bow Megazord in this Megazord one now. The only arm articulation you have is the arms. The legs are all stable, so you can't really do much with that. Now, for the attack mode, what it does is that when you do attack mode, you take both of the discs out. This disc will become the gun. Then you raise this up, put this disc in, and this is the attack mode. Now, the gun does spin, so that's a really nice little feature. It does spin, but it's not, it's pretty hard spinning and it's pretty annoying. But this thing can spin, it's just stationary like this. Now for the Japanese version, the Mogi Dayo, what happens is that the, since it has a motor feature, you can still use this and it rolls back and forth. Also, when you do an attack mode with a disc, the head will spin and so and you can actually spin this even easier. It's not like solid, it's, like, it's not like a solid one, the one that we have you have to spin it like pretty hard. This one you can just spin it really easily and it spins itself, so that's pretty good.
All right, so now we have the Gigazord, AKA the Samurai Hao. Now, finally, we have all, these are all the Zords combined into one Megazord, and it's a big cluster of Megazords. We have the Ika on the back. Yellow and pink will be on the sides now, just like before. Now, we have the Mogidayo, or the Bozord in the middle. It sticks up, it, it, it holds up everything. It's very reminiscent to the Red Battle Zord. Now this Megazord, it's pretty annoying to build because- There's so many different parts. You have so many parts that you have to do and it's really annoying. The fact is that yellow can't stay up because it's, it's a- It's stuck in its arm mode. Yeah, movability, you can't, this is a stationary Zord like every other Zord. You can move the arms. But even but then, much, even it's then, it's very limited movement. Everything is just stationary. And also, you can't really move this now because there's too much of a stiffness. Too much stiffness in it. Unfortunately, we <coughs> can't move it backwards or forward because there's no motor function. There's no wheels on it, so it just has to be a stationary resort. It's a stationary resort, and it's a nice display, but it's just really annoying to fit all. You have to fill. You have to literally take everything apart and just start from scratch. Now what's really odd is that this thing can actually hold the shock sword. So you can literally use every single Zord of the show. You can actually use... You can do the same thing with in Samurai How. It does, you can use the Kuri Origami sword. <laughs> Alright, alteration wise. Now you can tell that the scale. Even with the Gigazord combined into all one, the Mogudayo still outranks it in size. Now, another alteration is that for me, everything here is totally different from what, how, how they form the platforms. Instead of being it straightforward, it's actually crooked down. Because it's a, it's a simple flat platform that simply lowers and locks all the feet on for the Mogu Dio. Also, another alteration is that when it's, since it's a motor, when you have all the zords, it can actually move. You can move it back and forward, or if you want to disable the moving feature, but you want to have the spinning top, you can do that too to do its finisher move. Other changes is the shape design of over here. The actual platforms tell you which feet goes on a Mogu Dio. You have green here, blue here. Other main changes, of course, are the side part of the legs. We've had much more paint on this side. Heavy foam is missing. The color for the horns of the bulls is actually not like the kind of goldish like. They're also reduced in thickness. They're much more thick for Mogu Dio. And also, there was no gold lining here, and we lost the Shinkinger symbol on the legs. The legs over here, they cannot move. They're all stationary, and we're missing black paint. It's all white around here. Another alteration is that the Mogu Dio, the mouth opens and closes. The bows are what is stationary to the back, so you can't really move anything. Another alteration is that the helmet doesn't fold down enough. Unlike the boat, unlike the Mogu Dio, it folds back up and down. The bows are what is just stationary down to one side, so you can't really do much about that. The battle wing lost its holding ramp, which causes the tiger head to be left as an extra piece. Now the arms also are different. You can tell that for Mogidayo, you have a connected piece right here. Um, the Bozo doesn't really have a connected piece at all. So. It was basically just to connect the uh, two arms together to make it easier to transform into Bullzord mode. For transforming to Gigazord, aka Samurai Hao, one bad part is that the Ayu cannot go into origami mode. Pink and yellow is supposed to go into origami mode. Another main difference is how they connect the lower feet of the Squid Zord. On the Japanese version, it's supposed to be folded closed and connected to the back over here, but on the American version, it's simply connected to the back of the Lion Zord. The samurai helmet placement was removed and they completed the shape on the torso. You put the helmet now inside the Dragon Zord. Most of the connector pegs are changed to red. The gray paint is darker on the Bull Zord. The white paint has a red hue. The US version moved the machine gun to the locking clip, which causes issues when you take it off. It pulls the clip with it. The Shinkendra emblems were removed from Mogu's hands. The machine gun's back connector was enlarged and the spin disc placement was moved further back. The black paint on the Megazord head was removed, along with the extra details on the top. The head wheel was changed from red to black. The bull's head lost the Shinkinger emblem. The spin disc lost the inside mini piece that tells what sound effect to be triggered inside the Inumaru. And finally, the five box designs on the mountain piece were removed. Overall, the Samurai line is almost complete with all the Zords. We have gotten every single Zord, the Samurai Mega Zord, the Claw Zord, the Arthur Zord, the Tenku Buster, and, and all the, the auxiliary Zords. Zords. The good size about this thing is that the platforms are not like a brick box-like. That was the one major complaint for Mo for Mogujo fans because they wanted it to look more like humanistic rather than a box, but 
In that case, you needed to be a chariot because it's supposed to be a box. The main loss on the on the set is the motorized function. Now the Bozo is a nice alternative. You cannot get the Shinken oh, the Shinkinger stuff, but with Bandai Asia releasing Shinkinger soon, so we might see a little price drop, but we're not guaranteed that right now. Overall, the Bozo also has just came out in a couple of weeks, so. It might take some time for people to find this thing. I've actually spotted this by luck, so if you can get the Shinkinger oh, Shinkinger makers and Mogudayo, then by far spend your five hundred seven hundred dollars for the entire set. But if you cannot and you already have most of the auxiliaries and the Megazords from the Samurai line, just get the Bozo and you'll be complete. So yeah, that's it for our review of the Bozo, aka Mogudayo. Join us next week for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Falcon Sword. Rate, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next week. Now the funny thing is, is that. For this, you can actually do the spinning action and it won't even have a problem with it for some reason because one of the legs here, it's pretty soft, stiff and more smoother so you can continue spinning it, so it's pretty decent. You also can, also in the box art, you they actually show that you can put the Samurai Mixel Sword in but... The thing finisher is the um, gun on the top. The gun and then it just spins everything around and splashes everything. Also another fact feature is that when you raise this up, there's no lock feature. There's no safety locks, unfortunately. So when you're transforming it, you can easily make it collapse and then it'll just make everything fall apart. So you really much have to form him and him together first. And then they're, put him on the and platform. And then put him on a platform and then snap it in place first. Then put these guys in the back because it'll get pretty annoying. And you also have to, you have to put the arms onto his arms.